Hello everyone, I am Oscillo, and welcome to the fifth attempt at trying to record episode 10 of the Vidathon. Right, reasons as to why the Vidathon was delayed are in the description of Vidathon episode 9. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Right, I've done a tour of the survival, I've done two like exp uh, explanations on a map, and I've explained some of the commands I haven't showed you on the command world or the science world, and all of that for nothing, because like once the video didn't record, uh, I lost the video somehow, yeah, it's absolutely chaos, chaotic. Anyway, these are structure blocks, if you didn't know to get them, it's just forward slash give at p structure underscore block. So, wondering how, how I did this, uh, it's just basically... Um, a it's basically one of these, but it's set block to a particular location, and in that particular location, which I found previously was right here, uh, puts a torch down, and the torch will then break and fall into the void because of the water triggering the observer, and then activating the commands that are under here. So that's how that works. But the thing is, I have been trying to find a like a single circuit emitter. I found something like this, but that didn't work too well. So it goes through there, heads around there, and then blocks the the thing off. Yeah, I tried doing this earlier over here, right? But for some reason, it was really not working, and I don't know why. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, especially with the grass block. Um, so, what should happen is you should head up through there, and then block this off. Alright, okay. What if we were to turn this into a comparator, and then do the comparator trick? Uh, I have absolutely no clue whether this is going to work or not. That's because I've never messed around with stuff like this. Well, like especially observers. I don't like observers. I don't. I, I never use them. All right. Okay. This should work. And yet it's not. But right, there is definitely a system out there. It's reusable. It's just basically like, as soon as it gets triggered once, it then sends a single pulse out. Yep, and it's multi-pulsating now. Alright, um, I'll get back onto that um, another time. All I want is to just want to put out this video. And there was this, alright? I used this in... MCFS news with command blocks and if you want to put multiple ones of these around the world you might need to flick the lever more than once or have them all connected up to a central piece that's not going to work though unless the, the previous lever that you activated was deactivated or all of them are deactivated before you actually trigger it so all this is is it's just basically turns one off turns one on that's that's all you need all right it's uh, incredibly simple and very easy to set up. Now, as for this stupid system up here, because like, sometimes when I stepped on them, I got like the double sound and a double overlay on commands. I want to try and remove that. But the thing is, I don't know how. Uh, I might dive through some of the really old Minecraft Redstone tutorial books and try and figure out why this is happening and how to prevent it from happening. Um, and I think what I'm looking for is a is a machine known as a pulse shortener. Um, okay. Um, so for now, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.